Comparison is a feature in the morphology or syntax of some languages, whereby adjectives and adverbs are inflected or modified to indicate the relative degree of the property defined by the adjective or adverb. The comparative expresses a comparison between two or more entities or groups of entities in quality, quantity, or degree. The superlative is the form of an adverb or adjective that is the greatest degree of a given descriptor. The grammatical category associated with comparison of adjectives and adverbs is degree of comparison. The usual degrees of comparison are the positive, which simply denotes a property as with the English words big and fully, the comparative, which indicates greater degree as bigger and more fully, and the superlative, which indicates greatest degree as biggest and most fully. Some languages have forms indicating a very large degree of a particular quality called elative in Semitic linguistics. Other languages e English, can express lesser degree, e.g. beautiful, less beautiful, least beautiful. The comparative is frequently associated with adjectives and adverbs because these words take the er suffix or modifying word more or less e.g., faster, more intelligent, less wasteful. It can also, however, appear when no adjective or adverb is present, for instance with nouns e.g., more men than women. One preposition, near, also has a superlative form, as in find the restaurant nearest your house. Topic. Formation of comparatives and superlatives Comparatives and superlatives may be formed morphologically, by inflection, as with the English and German er and e sind forms, or syntactically, as with the English more and most and the French plus and le plus forms Common adjectives and adverbs often produce irregular forms, such as better and best from good and less and least from little, few in English, and mela from bon and mu from the adverb bien in French. Topic: <laughs> Comparative and superlative constructions. Most if not all languages have some means of forming the comparative, although these means can vary significantly from one language to the next. Comparatives are often used with a conjunction or other grammatical means to indicate with what the comparison is being made, as with than in English, als in German, etc. In Russian and Greek ancient, koine and modern, this can be done by placing the compared noun in the genitive case. With superlatives, the class of things being considered for comparison may be indicated, as in, the best swimmer out of all the girls. Languages also possess other structures for comparing adjectives and adverbs. English examples include, as, as, and, less, least. A few languages apply comparison to nouns and even verbs. One such language is Bulgarian, where expressions like pokovic po chovic, najkovic ne chovic, po malkovic po malko chovic, literally more person, most person, less person but normally better kind of a person, best kind of person, not that good kind of a person, and po obicum po obicum, naj malko obicum ne malko obicum, I like more, I like the least are quite usual. Topic. Usage when considering only two things In many languages, including English, traditional grammar requires the comparative form to be used when exactly two things are being considered, even in constructions where the superlative would be used when considering a larger number. For instance, "...may the better man win," would be considered correct if there are only two individuals competing. However, this rule is not always observed in informal usage. The form, may the best man win, will often be used in that situation, as it would if there were three or more competitors involved. Rhetorical use of unbalanced comparatives 
In some contexts, such as advertising or political speeches, absolute and relative comparatives are intentionally employed in a way that invites a comparison, and yet the basis of comparison is not established. This is a common rhetorical device used to create an implication of significance where one may not actually be present. Although such usage is common, it is sometimes considered ungrammatical, for example, Always Why pay more? We work harder. We sell for less. More doctors recommend it. English English has two parallel systems of comparison, a morphological one formed using the suffixes er the comparative", and s the superlative", with some irregular forms, and a syntactic one, formed with the adverbs more and most. As a general rule, words with one syllable require the suffix except for the four words, fun, real, right, wrong. Words with three or more syllables require more or most, and words with two syllables may use one system or the other. Which words use which system is a matter of idiom. Some adjectives, e.g., polite, can use either form, with different frequencies according to context. Topic. Morphological comparison Morphological comparison uses the suffixes er the comparative and est the superlative. These inflections are of Germanic origin and are cognate with the Latin suffixes ior and isimus and ancient Greek ion and istos. They are typically added to shorter words, words of Anglo-Saxon origin, and borrowed words which have been fully assimilated into the English vocabulary. Usually the words which take these inflections have fewer than three syllables. This system also contains a number of irregular forms, some of which, like good, better, and best, contain suppletive forms. These irregular forms include Topic. Syntactic comparison The second system of comparison in English appends the grammatical particles «more» and «most» themselves the irregular comparatives of «many» and «much» to the adjective or adverb being modified. This series can be compared to a system containing the diminutives «less» and «least». This system is most commonly used with words of French or Latin derivation, with adjectives and adverbs formed with suffixes other than lie e.g., beautiful, and with longer, technical, or infrequently used words. For example, <laughs> Absolute adjectives Some adjectives, the absolute or ungradable adjectives do not appear to logically allow degrees. Some qualities are either present or absent, such as being cretaceous or igneous, so it appears illogical to call anything very cretaceous, or to characterize something as more igneous than something else. Some grammarians object to the use of the superlative or comparative with words such as full, complete, unique, or empty, which by definition already denote either a totality, an absence, or an absolute. However, such words are routinely and frequently qualified in contemporary speech and writing. This type of usage conveys more of a figurative than a literal meaning, because in a strictly literal sense, something cannot be more or less unique or empty to a greater or lesser degree. Many prescriptive grammars and style guides include adjectives for inherently superlative qualities to be ungradable. Thus, they reject expressions such as more perfect, most unique, and most parallel as illogical pleonasms. After all, if something is unique, it is one of a kind, so nothing can be very unique or more unique than something else. 
Other style guides argue that terms like perfect and parallel never apply exactly to things in real life, so they are commonly used to mean nearly perfect, nearly parallel, and so on. In this sense, more perfect, i.e., more nearly perfect, closer to perfect, and more parallel, i.e., more nearly parallel, closer to parallel, are meaningful. Topic: <laughs> Balto Slavic languages. In most Balto-Slavic languages such as Czech, Polish, Lithuanian and Latvian, the comparative and superlative forms are also declinable adjectives. In Bulgarian, comparative and superlative forms are formed with the clitics po more and naj most golem big po golem bigger Naj golem biggest in Czech, Polish, Slovak and Slovene, comparative is formed from the base form of an adjective with a suffix and superlative is formed with a circumfix equivalent to adding a prefix to the comparative. Mladi, mlodi, mladi, mlad, young. Mladzi, mlozi, mladzi, marjzi, younger. Namaladzi, namlozi, najmaladzi, najmarjzi, youngest. In Russian, comparative and superlative forms are usually formed with a suffix. Dobrij kind, dobry kinda, dobrysij kindest. Topic: Romance languages. In contrast to English, the relative and the superlative are joined into the same degree the superlative, which can be of two kinds, comparative e.g., the most beautiful, and absolute e.g., very beautiful. French, the superlative is created from the comparative by inserting the definitive article le, le, or les, or the possessive article mon, ton, son, etc., before plus, or moins and the adjective determining the noun. For instance, elle est la plus belle femme she is the most beautiful woman, cette ville est la moins chère de France this town is the least expensive in France, c'est sa plus belle robe it is her most beautiful dress. It can also be created with the suffix isimi, but only with certain words, for example, c'est un homme richissime, that is the most rich man. Its use is often rare and ironic. Portuguese and Italian distinguish comparative superlative superlativo relativo and absolute superlative superlativo absoluto assoluto. For the comparative superlative, they use the words mice and pu between the article and the adjective, like most in English. For the absolute superlative, they either use muito, molto and the adjective or modify the adjective by taking away the final vowel and adding isimo singular masculine, isima singular feminine, isimos, isimi plural masculine, or isimas, isimi plural feminine. For example, Aquali aviao e velocissimo, quell'aeroplano e velocissimo that airplane is very fast There are some irregular forms for some words ending in re and le, deriving from Latin words ending in er and illis that have a superlative form similar to the latin one in the first case words lose the ending re and they gain the endings eremo singular masculine erema singular feminine eremos eremi plural masculine or eremus eremi plural feminine in the second case words lose the l le ending and gain ilimo alimo singular masculine ilima ilima singular feminine ilimos alimi plural masculine or ili romanian similar to portuguese and italian distinguishes comparative and absolute superlatives the comparative uses the word my before the adjective which operates like more or er in english for example luminos bright my luminos brighter to weaken the adjective, the word Putin little is added between my and the adjective, for example my Putin luminos less bright. For absolute superlatives, the gender-dependent determinant cell precedes my conjugated as cell che for male singular, plural and cea seal 
for female singular, plural. For example, CEA my luminarasa stia the brightest star, seal my frumos fate the most beautiful girls, sell my mike mork of the smallest carrot. Topic: <laughs> Celtic languages. Scottish Gaelic, when comparing one entity to another in the present or the future tense, the adjective is changed by adding an e to the end and i before the final consonants if the final vowel is broad. Then, the adjective is preceded by nas to say more and as to say most. The word na is used to mean than, adjectives that begin with f are lenited and as use different syntax constructions. For example, Ta me nas ed na mo fedrakian. I am taller than my sisters. Is me as ed. I am the tallest. As in English, some forms are irregular, i.e. nas f ha better, nas miosa worse, etc. In other tenses, nas is replaced by na bu and as by a bu, both of which lenite the adjective if possible. If the adjective begins with a vowel or an f followed by a vowel, the word bu is reduced to b. For example, bha me na b ed na mo fedrakian. I was taller than my sisters. b e me a b ed. I was the tallest. Welsh is similar to English in many respects. The ending af is added onto regular adjectives in a similar manner to the English est, and with most long words mwiaf precedes it, as in the English most. Also, many of the most common adjectives are irregular. Unlike English, however, when comparing just two things, the superlative must be used, e.g. of two people, John Idir Telef John is the tallest. Akkadian In Akkadian cuneiform, on a twelve-paragraph clay tablet, from the time period of the 1350 BC Armana letters a roughly twenty-year body of letters, two striking examples of the superlative extend the common grammatical use. The first is the numeral ten, as well as seven and seven. The second is a verb spacement adjustment. The term Seven and seven means over and over. The phrase itself is a superlative, but an addition to some of the Armana letters adds more at the end of the phrase EA 283, O oh, to see the king, Pharaoh. I fall at the feet of the king, my lord. I fall at the feet of the king, my lord, seven and seven times more. The word more is Akkadian mila, and by Moran is more or overflowing. The meaning in its letter context is less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 over and over again, overflowing as gushingly, or obsequiously, as an underling of the king. The numeral 10 is used for 10 times greater in EA 19, Love and Gold, one of King Tushratta's 11 letters to the pharaoh Amenhotep IV Akhenaten. The following quote using 10, also closes out the small paragraph by the second example of the superlative, where the verb that ends the last sentence is spread across the letter in spaceing, to accentuate the last sentence, and the verb itself i.e. the relational kingly topic of the paragraph. Now, in keeping with our constant and mutual love, you have made it ten times greater than the love shown my father. May the gods grant it, and may Tessup, my lord, and Aman make flourish for evermore, just as it is now, this mutual love of ours. The actual last paragraph line contains three words, may it be, flourish, and us. The verb flourish from Napahu, to light up, to rise, uses, ila ni e p pi, and the spaces. The other two words on the line, are made from two characters, and then one. Dot may it be, flourish our relations. <laughs> Estonian In Estonian, the superlative form can usually be formed in two ways. 
One is a periphrastic construction with coig followed by the comparative form. This form exists for all adjectives. For example, the comparative form of sinine blue is sinisum and therefore the periphrastic superlative form is coig sinisum. There is also a synthetic short superlative form, which is formed by adding m to the end of the plural partitive case. For sinine the plural partitive form is sinicide and so sinicime is the short superlative. The short superlative does not exist for all adjectives and, in contrast to the coig form, has a lot of exceptions. See also Augmentative Comparative illusion Equative case Fewer vs. Less Greatness Intensifier <laughs>